Here's a quick video on Thevenin and equivalent circuits. Maybe you want to see if the uh, diode's turned on or not. So uh, what you start out with doing is there's two steps. The first one is we want to find our Thevenin. This is how I like to do it. And the second step is V Thevenin. So we want to find the Thevenin voltage and resistance uh, across the diode here. So we can say that the diode is just looking at some circuit here that we don't know what it is. Um, so the first thing we're going to find our Thevenin, which means we short out all the voltage sources, which means we'll have just this. And what is the resistance seen by terminals AB? Well, we can write this a different way to make it a little bit more intuitive. So up here is the 9K, the 1K. Uh, we can see that this is just 9K in parallel with 1K. So perfect. Now we have our Thevenin. And to find V Thevenin, what we do is we need to find the current normally without the without the diode connected here. So what we can do now is just use a uh, good old KVL. So we're jumping up if we start here by 10. So 10 minus, if this is the plus terminal of that resistor here, I times 9K minus I, again, like that, times 1K plus 5 equals 0, and then we know that I is 15 volts over 10K, which is just uh, 1.5 milliamps. So then, to find the open circuit voltage here, we know it's, we start here again with our loop, it would be 10 plus a 9K times 1.5 milliamps. And uh, equivalently, if we wanted to find it from this way, we would say it's minus 5, because we're jumping down by the 5 volts here. And then again, we're adding, because we defined our voltage drop this way, plus 1K times 1.5 milliamps. And those both will give us the same 3.5 minus 3.5 volts. So now our equivalent circuit with V Thevenin and R Thevenin that the diode sees is minus 3.5 volts and 9K in parallel with 1K. Um, so we can see that obviously the diode is not on. All right.